blank right? and all that. Simple as, okay? Most of all, guys, this is it. There's only 20, 20 hours to go. Enjoy it. Get in there and it's smash time. it. It's time. Let's get it on. Exactly. Are you right, mate? Uh, from Manchester. Right, well, what's your phone? Well, basically, he's had two fights. He's had one, hasn't he? No, I won't catch us a fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something, Jay, about that fight, right? What, what you've done that night, right? And, like, what, what happened to Jay that night, right? Jay's been out all day. On the, he shouldn't have fought, really, to be fair, because we wouldn't allow that because of healthy safe, health and safety rules. Right, but that kid got away. Oh, I need a fight, I fight. You want to fight me? Oh, I'll fight you, mate. <laughs> he got out, got his pair of shorts on, right? got his gloves on, bit something like he was with His teeth fell out now, so I tried to I stood there and he took the kid on. And for me, I thought, do you want it? I thought, do you want it? Clash of the Vikings at Good Friday at Temple Park. Here we are with all the guys. We've done, done a bit of a weigh-in and that, you know, all these guys have been waiting. We're going to do the weigh-in tomorrow as well on the Good Friday at Temple Park for the people that's come from Manchester and all around the country. Um, this show is called uh, Nothing's Impossible. Um, great, great uh, camp we've had. We've had uh, Horn and Welfare training there. Um, the guys here, we've got Brian, Michael, uh, we've got Sam, we've got Christy. Graham, the Viking, uh, they're all fighting on the show. I'm going to uh, have a couple of words with the guys, and we've got about uh, 12 title fights on. Uh, one of the title fights is Brian and Bleddy. Bleddy from North Shields, Brian from uh, well, Bolden in it, South Shields, we'll say Bolden, Headworth. Uh, so that's a bit of a derby match as well. Um, going to Brian straight away. Brian, uh, great fight, and I think it's our very evening match, you and Bleddy. Uh, how's the training gone, and how do you feel about the fight? It's gone well. Uh, trained hard. Had some good lads in with his training, sparring. Uh, couldn't really have done any more, so just ready for tomorrow now. And uh, you train like every night, you know what I mean? I think a lot of people with the white collar, they think, oh, I'll just do a couple of nights and that's it. But these guys have trained really hard and like, you've had a great camp. I know you've been sparring with Stevie Graham and that. Have you sparred like you've sparred with Stevie here? Uh, Hauser. Hausie, is it? Hausie. And uh, you've, you've sparred with him just because, was he a tall lad, just to get used to Bloody? Because Bloody's a tall guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's a lot taller than me, so uh, like you say, I've got Hausie in. Done a bit with Stevie Graham, just getting used to being the smaller, smaller lad on the night and getting round a, getting round a long jab really. Now what we're saying, you know what I mean, no matter what, who you are, Mike Tyson or whoever, Brian, uh, Eric the Viking, Stevie, Mickey, you do get nervous and everybody gets nervous, you know what I mean, and I think what it is, is your adrenaline's pumping and it absorbs all your energy and that, and people say, yeah, Tony, like I've just said there, three, two minute rounds, I got pulled up on it. People don't realise how hard it is when you get in that ring, do they? It's like I said, it's it's not really the boxing that drains the energy. Loads of people are different. I mean, if people say they're not nervous, they're lying. And it absorbs all the energy in that. And people just say, ah, it's only three minutes rounds, I could do that. But it's it's not as easy as that, is it? Nah, like I said, it's beforehand, it's getting nervous, thinking about things too much. The crowd, if you've got friends, family there, that's what drains the energy the most. The fighting, like I said, isn't what necessarily takes energy away. It's everything else around it. Yeah. It is. It is a good atmosphere. Nobody wants to get beaten in front of like 20, 50 of their friends. You know what I mean? Which uh, uh, the last fight, it was God. It was mayhem, wasn't it? When you when you come out, it was like, it was like nearly two hundred people going absolutely mental. It was a great crack, lad. I want to uh, ask a question to Michael. Yeah, Michael's held the belt, and if he wins this time with the belt, he keeps the belt. So if you win it, uh, defend it three times, you keep the belt. And Mick, this is your third time. So uh, Ethan's come up. Ethan wants his first fight, and I think he's a very like. I think he's got a little bit more experience than him, but he's got. A, a really long reach on his jab and he's trained really hard the last three months he's uh, nearly trained nearly every night and that with his sister who's doing it also Christy uh, how do you feel you've trained really hard oh well uh, I'm probably buzzing can't wait for the, the event uh, been dieting well going to the gym and that got to, to, got to do the work to pull it out haven't you well you can edit that if you want to <laughs> 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 don't have to though we do get uh, right so uh, you've trained I've got Ethan about you Ethan now this is uh, Michael's belt holder and how's the training gone for you I, I know you've had your hair cut because it look really good at the moment yeah it's gone excellent to be honest like hey, it couldn't have gone better to be honest I've yeah, sparred with loads of good people in that so great now you've got a long jab on you do you think you could jab mix that off there or what uh, yeah <laughs> no but Michael great fight you know you've defended uh, twice and after this you keep the belt is this going to be your last fight or are you going to fight on the 27th yeah. of August happy to carry it on mate it's good crap and that Enjoy the fitness and, and that. it gets you off the streets and that, doesn't it, mate? You know, these people that just go around just drinking and all that. It's good for you, isn't it? Good white colour box, isn't it? Great. That's a chat, Michael. I'll go with a call now. Carl's got a bit of a derby on White Lees and Biddick Hall. Uh, Carl's got the uh, title, title belt. And the guy that uh, Nathan's uh, 
um, well, Colin's fighting is Nathan. Uh, just tell me a bit about the rivalry there, Colin. So, no, there's not really much rivalry, but it's just two different estates in it. It's a bit of a call, but uh, aye. It's it really like. Well, the first time it had come out, it was supposed to happen. The last time on Clash of the Vikings, it didn't happen. Uh, and I know you were a bit upset in that, but now it's happening. Are you glad it's happening now and you're going to get it done and dusted? My eyes, uh, it's two local lads, I mean, fighting on the same event. Way it's close and that, so we've had the same experience. May as well get it on, I mean, so it runs better. It's a competitive sport, so may as well get it in. Okay. I'm really looking forward to that fight. I think it's going to be a great fight. Very uh, evenly matched as well, but I think you've put all the training in that, and I think you, you might be too much more on the night. But that's just my opinion. I've got an opinion here. Uh, we've got Sam here. Sam's going to be on uh, the core, well, the main event of the girls, to be fair, because she's fighting Jessica Sawley. Uh, she's the champ, got the Clash of the Vikings belt. Uh, Sam, I know you've trained really hard, and I know you've sparred with the guys and everything. So I think you should be pretty happy with your uh, camp this, uh, this time, yeah? Yeah, I'm happy. I've done everything I can do, so. Now we're just going to see what happens. Now, you're very confident, in, in you've always been confident from the beginning. So, do you reckon you're going to take the belt off Jessica? Jessica's not a pushover, we all know that, you know, I mean, she's really good, she's fast, she's quick, great defence and that. So, uh, I'm going to ask you, how do you think you're going to beat her? You ask me this on, on purpose, don't you? <laughs> you never tell us anything, you never give anything away. Yeah, it goes, I've worked hard for it, so I'm going to try and take it. <laughs> Now, you're a nutritionist, uh, you, you, you do all these, you know, these things that's coming out in uh, up all over the, the country now. You do these set meals, don't you? Just tell a bit about your little set meals that you do, a little about your business, how you're doing it and how's it going? Yeah, so I do uh, nutrition with meal plans for athletes and people who are training, so that's what I do, so that's what I live by and that obviously helps us in, in the gym. Excellent, good luck, man. So if you want your yeah, meals done for you all week and that, some bugle I want to see. Now, Jessica's just walked in, the champ has just walked in, there she is. Um, hi. Hey Jessica, you alright? I know you can't find a seat at the moment, that. but uh, how are you feeling for the fight, Jess? I, I've just uh, spoke to Sam there, she seems very confident, but I uh, says you're no pushover on that, you've trained in that, and you're good, quick on your feet and that. How do you feel the fight's going to go for you? Uh, alright, really, the best one will win, isn't it, really? And you've trained hard for it, yes, you still train, kept the training up? Uh, so, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, giving nothing away, other, you know what I mean? Have you sh uh, shined the belt? Pardon? Aye, it's ready, aye. Great, there's a champ. Jessica, we're going to wait her in a minute now. Now, a couple of questions. Yeah, Darren, it's your first time with Craig, Craig Bridal, and Darren Mooney here. Darren, how are you feeling? Now, we had a bit of an injury on, but it's getting better than that. Do you know what I mean? You're looking forward to the fight tomorrow? Definitely, yeah. First, so, time, first time I've ever done this, and I'm going to enjoy the whole thing. And it was a bit of a drunken bed, just tell me a little bit about your drunken bed. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And how's that come across? <laughs> just come across well now, like, so I'm getting, I'm getting. So it's between you and Leslie, wasn't it? And the bet was, like, if you were doing it, I'd do it as a £50 bet. I made the best man win. Craig, now you're boxing there, uh, Darren. Similar styles, it's the first fight you have had each other, and I think that's what, uh, why you are in together, you know, and made the best man win the night. How's your training gone for you, Craig? Good. Um, been training five, six days a week, so feeling ready for it. And it's your first white collar, isn't it? It's your first ever time you've boxed. What made you uh, want to do it? I don't know, it's just, just a test, really. Um, trained in all that stuff for seven or eight years, so I um, thought I'd give this a go. Great, great stuff. Everybody has raised a lot of money for charity as well, you know, so it's an all-chosen charity. So uh, it's not just about the guys and that, it's about the charities that we raise money for. And on the right, we're raising £1,000 as well. Now, I've got Jay Bell behind me here. Jay, this is your, like... I would say first, and you had a half of a fight before, do you know what I mean? It's, uh, but, Jay, you got called in the ring uh, about, I think it was about three, four weeks ago, and went the point, and uh, they, nobody would fight this kid, so Jay got in, took his teeth out, or he left him in, didn't he, the fellow? And uh, he got in the ring, and uh, great respect to Jay, but this one's a good, you've trained really hard for with this one, Jay, haven't you? This one I'm ready, mate. Um, last time, it was yeah. just a joke. This time, <laughs> this time I've been training twice a day hard with the best Billy Bell, yeah. and uh, I'm winning this fight. No. Now, yeah, yeah, uh, fighting a guy from Manchester, good kid. He's got the same record as you. you know, I think he's well. He's got. He's had two. I think he's lost one and won one. Uh, you've like this is your second one. So uh, are you a little bit nervous for being from? I don't know why people get nervous for people from Manchester. Are the same people to be fair, he, but he, he from Timbuktu, he could have 22 fights. I tell you what it is, he's, he hasn't got the heart of me. He's not going to have. The, the, the speed, the pace, he's getting it, and that's it. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant, great stuff. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> Excellent, that's it. Now we've got a veteran to the air sport in the white collar world. There, uh, he's been all over the all over the world. There, uh, Eric the Viking. Eric, nice to see you. Um, you're fighting a good guy. That he's got got the belt. A veteran, Simlesi. He's uh, from over the border. Obviously a Polish kid as well, but he lives over the uh, Walls End now. How do you feel? There, uh, you're going into that one. Are you feeling all right? Yeah, you training very hard. 
trained hard. I trained with Davey Orton uh, every day, f- five times a day, four or five times a day. Now, you fought Billy Hawthorne on the last uh, Clash of the Vikings, the first one. That was the first show. I didn't even train for that one. Aye, right, so you didn't train for that, so I'm saying you didn't train for that one. <coughs> Billy beat you, do you know what I mean? But then again, uh, Vendron beat Billy. So do you think that's a bit of psychological? Uh, we'll see about that. See what happens on the night. So how are you going to think of like, are you going to the first round, second round, is it going to be a knockout, are you going to take the distance or what? We'll see. Nobody gave nothing away, he has, you know what I mean? Eh? Well done, Carl. Stevie, how are you feeling, mate? Fine lad from Manchester. Stevie Graham <laughs> trains hard. He's got his own little um, circuit in uh, Mortimer School. Seven to eight, isn't it? Monday and uh, Thursday. Monday and Thursday. Seven to eight. Get yourself down there. Stevie, how are you training? I know you, tra- you, you just don't stop training. Every time I come up with John Reed Road, you're running down it. What's going on? I have trained six days. I um, have a Sunday off, basically. Um, I was due to fight on the point show, but my um, opponent pulled out, so I just continued training straight through for this. So this is good to get these uh, rounds in, isn't it, for the next big one on the 27th of August, and it's good to get in the ring, get that atmosphere, which you love, you know what I mean? I remember the last the first ever fight you've done, I'd done, I emceed it, and it was at uh, the Federation Brewery, and wow, what a laugh that was, by the, the, they all just come in, dancing, and he was in, that was unbelievable, your brother Davey, yeah, we'll try and get him on the next show as well. So training's gone, we're looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, yeah, come here. Excellent. Right now, Stevie, Howsy, there you go, uh, Stevie. You fought a couple of weeks ago, right? Four weeks ago. Four weeks ago. Now, how did that fight there? How do you think that fight went for you? Because I watched our MC that fight, and uh, to me, it was a bit of a windmill, wasn't it? That in I thought I won, me like. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I thought you nearly had cleaner shots than that. But it was just a brawl. Why did you? Why did you want to get into a brawl? That it's a brawl. I said I'd sell a load of tickets. I probably got sucked into the fight. I should have just boxed normally. But even though I did get sucked into the scrap, I still thought I nicked the win. Yeah. I think I landed the cleaner shots. Yeah, he, he landed a couple in the first round, board. Yeah. I think he had the first, and you had the last two. To be fair, I think you nicked the last two. But uh, it was why is it like you, you've trained all the, uh, for three months and that, and then you get in, and you're like, ah, just like a, a windmill. You're not going to do that on this one, eh? Nah, definitely not. I'm going to box properly on this one. Now, what happened with Stevie? Uh, his opponent dropped out because we, we couldn't really put him in because there was too much weight difference. So uh, he's a fighting lad from Manchester, which uh, I think if you box him, do you know what I mean? And show your skills and your technique and that, you'll win the guy. But just don't go into a brawl and hold you fetch the belt because we'll put a belt on this as a title fight on the line. Aye, aye, I agree. I'm going to uh, keep my composure <laughs> a bit more than I did the last one, and I knew. Now, you've been uh, sparring with uh, Brian, and you've been sparring with Steve as well. Brian, how do you think Stevie's come on? Has he uh, come on better since the last time I've seen him box? 100%. Uh, like he said himself, he got caught up in a fight that he shouldn't really have on the, yeah, on the night. But definitely. if he boxes and keeps it mm. long like he can, mm. not many people are getting near him. Do you agree with that, Steve? Because he's been sparring with you as well. I did his corner on the night last time, and uh, it was quite frustrating because I've seen him box much better in the gym, and he did get stuck into a wall. But um, I think he'll box better this. I think he's learned by his mistake as Definitely. well. Definitely, that's it. I think yeah, a lot of people do learn by the mistakes the first time round. Nathan, welcome to Clash of the uh, Vikings. Is your first one on? Now you, you, you've got a lot of weight on this kid. You've got a few, a few well, a few stone on this kid, and that. But uh, I think you just you've got a bigger body frame as well. I know Steve Orton, he's, he's fit and that. You know what I mean? You fit yourself, but you're a big guy. How do you feel like the fight's going to go for you today? It, uh, it 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 should be a good fight. Um, obviously, yeah, uh, I think he looks a bit stronger than me if you, if you look at him properly. But uh, as long as it's a good fight and both will give the crowd what they want to see. Great stuff, yes. Yeah, it's all about you know what I mean. It's all about scoring points. There's gonna be no broken noses, no broken jaws. Uh, it's all about scoring points, getting in there, getting out, show your technique and that, and your defence, and of course, you know how you move and who does the most work. Um, Macaulay, how are you feeling? You've just had a baby. I know, like that, will probably take it out of you a little bit, and that you know, you obviously miss a little bit of training and that. But uh, it's the first time for Lewis fighting. You've got a couple under your belt, and that you've you've won some, you've lost some. How do you feel this fight's going to go for you? Because he is a first time, but he's trained really hard. We call him the little Tyson. How do you think it's going to go for you for the fight? Yeah, I think it's going to go fine. Like, uh, I'll give him the best chances I can. Like, uh, give him a good go and let him get on. See how he comes on. It's a good fight. Like, good matchup. Thank you. Yes, now Lewis, Professor Lewis in the little Tyson. Uh, great stuff. He come f- with four, four of his friends to the gym and that, and he's the only one that lasted out of the four. Uh, so yeah, my friends owe us £12 for the, pay for the training internal. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, how do you feel uh, the fight's going to go for you? Have you enjoyed it? Well, first question's first. Have you enjoyed the training for now? Well, I just came on mint. I feel a lot fit and I'm just ready for tomorrow. You have. You've come on great now. I know you've trained with Ethan and uh, Christy and that. We'll be in the gym and that. Um, now, 
how do you think like you, you don't know Macaulay I know that but uh, he has a couple of fights under his belt does that worry you a little bit I'm not really bothered <laughs> just just kind of waiting until tomorrow see what happens so here we are again uh, Clash of the Vikings <laughs> the Clash of the Vikings uh, nothing's impossible Good Friday Temple Park uh, first fight six uh, doors open half past five I just spoke to Nathan a little bit earlier there I'm going to speak to Steve Orton now um, Steve you're giving a little bit of weight away how do you feel about that and uh, how do you feel the fight's going to go for you mate yeah well I'll just have to work a bit harder I'll have to work a bit harder obviously not get hit a lot of movement you and uh, Pretty can move pretty well, so I like to just keep out the way and mm. get back into it. But that, that's it. If you, uh, like Nathan's a big guy, if you get hit off Nathan, to be fair, you're gonna feel it. You know what I mean? But I, I've seen you. I've seen your box. I think you're very nifty, nifty on your feet. You're quick. Uh, you know, I, I think fitness at the end of the day might win that one because I think fitness wins fight. But uh, if you get hit off Nathan, like you'll know about it. You know what I mean? But it's all about getting you know hitting that. It's about your defence. It's about working hard and scoring points. There's gonna be no broken nose, no broken jaws. There's nothing like that. Windmills like Jay was uh, experienced in the last uh, fight. We'll try and keep right. We've got all the nice. We've got health and safety there and that. We've done all the uh, hard work and. This is it. Tonight, everybody's going to be relaxed, enjoying that. I'm going to have a couple of pints because my heads are class. <laughs> uh, no, but it's absolutely brilliant. And I think uh, these guys, and I'm really proud of all these guys for doing this and that. So hopefully, uh, the, uh, the belt holders will keep their belts and hopefully maybe some of them won't. And, you know, that, that gives it all the um, entertainment on there because it's all about entertainment. That's why people come to watch them. Hope all your friends are there, your family and that. If you come to Clash of the Vikings, it's Good Friday, Temple Park. Nothing's impossible. Go on the website, go on their Facebook, or just pay on the door in Temple Park. It's been a great response. And for the people that couldn't make it the night, and that, go do the way in the morrow as well, just before the show. And of course, the people that pulled up by injuries and that, and couldn't make it for family problems. Well, we hope hopefully he's on the next show, and that the 27th of August. That's a bank holiday weekend, and it's a Gypsies Green in a marquee. Just waiting for the confirmation of that, but hopefully they'll all be on. Thanks to everybody. I'm really glad you're all on board, and that, and it's about taking the belt and taking it home. Okay, thanks very much. We'll see you soon. Thank you very much, guys. Brilliant.